Okay, Akomodo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. So, uh, so here we have the daily chart. As usual, I start with the daily chart. When we look at it, nothing significantly has happened, right? We are moving upwards, but not a lot. We are trying to get to this 200 EMA. Let me zoom this thing. <coughs> And uh, well, we closed above the 100 DMA here. Yes, we have now this red candle here. Let me turn off the TV sequential. Yes, uh, it's a green candle. It's are we gonna put in this 7500? I think so. I think we are gonna touch this 200 DMA. Okay, we have a bullish momentum, so this is what's gonna happen. Okay, we are gonna touch this 200 EMA, touch this red line here, this red dotted line. We have a huge confluence, as I said. <clears throat> the retracement from this highest here to this lowest is this retracement here. The 618, 65% is here, and we have the 618 here exactly at the same point where I'm mark this red red dotted line okay this 618 here is the the swing of the whole movement guys okay this is the retracement of the whole movement it's so important it's really a place that if we get it's gonna be a really strong resistance to break this trend yellow line here plus the 200 ma plus the 61865 of this whole retracement here that i which i'm calling this wave here which i'm calling a <clears throat> so it's a lot of confluence okay that indicate to us that we are going to this uh that we might go to this place here 7500 okay we had this morning a bit of action yeah if you were look if you were watching bitcoin closely i was <laughs> so i was trading <laughs> and uh Oh, let me change this. This we are 259 days. <clears throat> Correcting. Um, yes, we have those algo targets here. Down here, one and two. Uh, one might. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yesterday, someone commented on my video that the the bear market was over. That would that we would have a bullish reversal. That this would that this was the beginning it might be okay it might be what I'm what I do when I when I um, with this what I do guys with this updates with these videos is I'm trying to figure out something with you guys okay this is how knowledge is is created okay we are doing this together I'm not trying to impose something or to brag about my trades or anything. I am figuring out something with you. And by doing so, we are growing. We are making uh, progress. <laughs> and of course, I'm gonna always appreciate your feedback. Uh, do I believe that we are gonna break this line here, this, this red dotted line here and go up i don't believe but it's me this is a belief okay at this point is a hypothesis that we might break it the technical analysis the tools that i'm using is indicating that no we are we won't we are not gonna break it because we have a lot of resistance we need to we need to finish this this pattern here that i'm that i i, I am proposing wx w x y x z but as i have been saying uh, stocks cryptos don't uh, they don't care about elliot wave they just can just rip this off and then i would need to change my account okay so we are trying to figure out something together here guys okay i'm not the i'm not a, uh, i'm not holding any truth here i, I don't of course, and if I was saying something like with 100% of certainty, that would be probably wrong because this is this is the market. 
the market's dynamic. There is no such a thing as certainty. There are we have probabilities. Okay. <clears throat> Enough said. Um, and uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Oh, this is the weekly chart. Yes, let me see it here. We have a what? We have a this cross here. It's a it's it's crossing, right? This this is the first time that. It, that happened okay this is a real cross at the MACD guys real cross it's a okay it's a, one of the one of the uh, the indicator is telling us on the weekly chart that we are bullish okay this is a MACD weekly so <clears throat> so the OBV and the RSI are pretty ne neutral neutral okay we don't have uh, a lot of information that we could derive um, <clears throat> as I said yesterday we have we are above the 55 EMA and we touched the 21 EMA you see here we have the 21 EMA we touch it but we react we react upon touching it so uh, this was the touch and we react. Are we gonna break it and stay above it? Above the 21 EMA? It's yet to be confirmed, yet to be seen, okay? We don't, we don't know, okay? <clears throat> we need to, to, we have some market acceptance here, as you can see, of course. We have a lot of market acceptance here at, at higher prices, okay? Not so much here. Yes, at the 55 EMA, we broke above it. We are sitting above it. So, yeah, it's, it's a bullish weekly chart, to be honest. Um, let's see the day. The, this is the hourly chart, okay? As I have proposed, we have corrected the wave 4 in an ABCDE pattern, okay? A barrier kind of triangle. Okay, this was our wave four of this one, two, three, four, five. Let, 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 let me change the color, right? Always the same color, white. Uh, for me, it's easier, but not for you guys. This is this purple one is the inside of this tree here, wave three here. Okay, this is the one, two, three, four, five inside of the wave three. Okay, and then we would have to correct this wave three. This is our wave four, this wave four here. Okay. Uh, this white wave for here and we correct it okay always touching the 50% uh, level of this whole Fibonacci channel <clears throat> okay always we have retraced 50% okay of the whole movement and we have been retraced we have been touching the 50% and reacting up every time that we touch it the 50% level we go up okay and we broke okay we broke this this triangle which i said that it would which i said it would happen right if you follow me if you if you are on my if you are in my discord group i i gave i gave it i gave this call okay that this was forming here and that we would have a breakout probably yes out of the E wave, okay, and then we finish the fourth wave here. Now we are going up. Okay, this is bit stamp. Bit Phoenix is a bit different. Okay, bit Phoenix is a bit messy. I, but for some, for uh, um, <clears throat> but somehow bit Phoenix is bound to bit bit stamp. It can't just go uh, go about and do whatever <laughs> whatever it wants. No. Bitstamp is you have better uh, better data, so that's why I'm using it. Okay, so again we finish this wave four here. Okay, if we go and use the retracement here from the bottom here of this wave two to the wave five to this wave three here, what we see we see that we have retraced 38% almost. Right, we haven't really. We traced it was a shallow wave four but a triangle 
nonetheless it has retraced so we, this is this is what this is perhaps our wave one is it finished i don't know one two three perhaps one more wave up and then we have a a one a, a first wave here right that we would have a one this is good two three four five okay this is what i expect i don't think we have but in the wave five yet <clears throat> but then we we what we would stop it here let me just change it a bit we can we can start making some guesses okay if this is wave one okay let, let's see if it makes sense if this is wave one and it's finished okay if okay then where would where would be the probable place for our wave two here testing this line here T testing this purple line again okay testing this 7300 okay we would retrace to the 7300 okay and we would go up so this would be the place let me change the color i don't like purple actually um <clears throat> okay this okay this is if this is one if one is in we don't know yet so then we would have the two here try uh because this line here is a it's gonna be a support now so i would i would uh this green line here this green dotted line i would put it here to show that this is 7300 okay we would test the 7300 again <clears throat> then if we have this as a hypothesis that we because this is a hypothesis we don't have the data to, to tell with confidence then we would have the fib extension from the one to the this green line here and where we would have our wave three we would have our wave three here at the 7500 okay or perhaps a bit lower 7500 or if you want to if it's gonna be a shorter wave three okay it might be 100 percent of wave one okay and then wave four here then finally wave five touching it there well i'm making the case guys that this is not gonna be a long wave five i'm making the case that we are not gonna break above 7500 and i might be wrong okay This is what I'm proposing, guys. Okay, we would finish all this structure, this wave B here, at the 618 of this whole structure. This this 618 is this structure here, guys. Okay, this 618 here. This this it's a, it's the same B here, and it's the 61865 is the same one here. Is this one that we have here? Okay, just to comparing the big picture with the with the. With a small picture okay yeah this is what this is what i think is gonna happen it's what is likely i don't think we might have an ending diag okay so something like this it's really really probable it's really really likely that we have an ending diagonal okay an ending diagonal one and one and wave one and four they overlap okay we have a wave three that's not so that's that doesn't go to the 1618 175 we have a shorter wave three not shorter uh, I, I don't mean uh, i'm not saying that it's shorter than wave one and five but it's the same length of wave one and we have a really truncated uh, not a truncated fifth but uh a, a, a shorter wave five okay longer than uh that establish a higher price than wave three, but doesn't go really high. We have a a diagonal, okay? This is really possible. This is a, a, a this could be a, a really good example of a diagonal if it happens this way. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> if this is a diagonal, we would need to have something like this, okay?
this is what we would have okay um, the price the the price would need to be within this with, with within these two purple lines here if and only we if and only if we have this okay if we have this ending diagonal here for our wave five okay and then we would touch that one of the 75 almost 7600 and then we would go down to finish wave c okay this thing here wave c okay this whole movement a b we would be finishing b and then we would go to finish c okay um i think that's enough um i think that this uh, has been a really uh, it, it has been a, a good week for us it has been a good weekend and it's now go it, it's gonna be a, a wonderful week for us a lot of opportunities let's play cause of, let's let's play let's play let's pay close attention I'm sorry let's play close attention to Bitcoin and if you haven't followed me on social media please consider doing so and I have a discord group the link in the description please join us it's always great to have new people there to chat to share information to build knowledge okay and as always if you like my content please give me a thumbs up subscribe and enjoy your enjoy your trades yes that that's used to be my my phrase <laughs> enjoy your trades guys <laughs> bye bye cheers